Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here, and it's time for Neela's max level gameplay. So we have her at level 30 with three stars. Those star powers, each round, copy the first two fleeting units or spells you play, and then the second star power plus one starting mana create a copy of the first two cards you discard each round in your deck, then draw one fleeting at next round start for each. We're going to go for an interesting build that I actually haven't tested uh, before, Star Gems, Allied Champions have 1-1 one, one and cost 2 less. These stats will also go on Mila herself. Then the Corrupted Star Fragment. So what I'm going to try to do is be able to get a solid 4-cost champion, play Mila round 1, play that champion for free round 1 as well, and then attack, consuming that champion, getting all those stats, including all those bonus stats on her, and really just using that to dominate the game. Now I've tried Star Gems on her, they work really well. Tried Corrupted Star Fragment on her, also works out quite well. Haven't tried them together, but that's one of the great things with Neela. There's a lot of different ways you can build this champion that all work out quite well. If you're enjoying all this Path of Champions content, definitely like and subscribe. A special shout out to all my awesome members supporting the channel, and let's get into it. All right, let's see what we get for our first power here. Hmm, gearing up, not too bad. We'll probably be creating or doing a good amount of created cards. So none of these are overly amazing, but this one should be a solid addition. I think I'll save my rerolls for later in the run. Alright, up first we have Ezreal with Perfected Mana Flow. He's gonna immediately kill the two units we just picked up. Alright, let's get rid of the Lookout, and even Neela, we know we're gonna draw her later. Uh, yeah, we'll hold on to the rest. Pick a card is great if you don't already have some passive way to get fleeting cards. I think I'll wait to play her next round. Alright, he's gonna kill our units. Yep, there they go. Immediately. Oh well. So we could play either of these. This one's kind of going to be overkill. We're not really going to get the benefit of it. I think I'll wait and just let both these get shuffled back. So let's play our Neela. I guess we can kill, kill Ezreal with this duplication. We can just consolidate all those stats on her. And because of the brash, they can't block. Alright, since we have that Corrupted Star Fragment, we're going to want to get either Overwhelm or the Elusives. I think we'll go for the Elusive here, just because we want to have a blocker for Ezreal. Ah, figures. Oh well. Uh, I think we'll just pass here. Right, we will kill this unit. Just to make sure we don't get overwhelmed and have a blocker. It's not bragging if you can back it up. Can't stop me. Alright, I think we'll play the non-fleeting version first. See what we end up drawing. Not bad. Alright, let's go like this, giving her that uh, overwhelm. Alright, we're going to use the list after this to end the game. So this is going to go off twice, giving us a free attack, and then because of that overwhelm, we're going to be able to punch through the target and end the game. So, GG. Hmm, interesting. I think we'll go for the Swole Squirrel here, although stealing cards from the enemy is fun. 
Alright, let's see what we can get for our champion. Darius, Kindred. So Kane would be free because of the Poros. Darius is very strong. We couldn't play him round one, but that would be a ton of stats. So that is tempting. Kindred we could play for free. We'd get Quick Attack and Scout. But still nothing to really end the game, like Overwhelm. Let's see, these two draw at the start of the game. I think we'll actually go for Kindred, but Darius is quite tempting. Alright, Slotbot, Spells, or Healer. I think let's go for Swain here. So with this setup, you really want to be able to... Hold on to these two, because they're cheap. You want to be drawing both of your champions around one, which can be a little bit difficult. But if you're able to get it done, it's very, very powerful. Alright, so no Kindred, a little sad. Power is mine to command. Submit to ecstasy. Hmm. I think we'll use a list here, just so... We can get that extra item, and then make sure we have the best block. And water. Oh, it gave us Overwhelm. That's nice. I guess we can go here. That common Hextech Fabricator is actually pretty clutch. So here, playing the Kindred for free. Never won. Very nice. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just kill that. And then let's play the Pool Shark just for some fleeting cards next round. Where do you stand on cold shots? Oh. Alright, we're gonna open attack with Kindred, because we have that scout. For the Empire. And GG. With Neela, you're really able to often overwhelm the enemy quite quickly. Ravenous Butcher, zero cost removal, that's actually pretty great. Howling Gale's not bad, but yeah, this this could be pretty clutch against some tough opponents. Alright, slot bot. Eh, let's see. Do we want to cut a card? I think we probably actually want to cut the Spirit Leech. So, it, it does have that extra draw, but I just don't have too many expensive cards. I guess we could maybe get rid of the Lookout, although it is pretty solid. Yeah, I think let's get rid of the Spirit Leech first, at least. All right, Ash with Perfected Mana Flow. All right, we have Kindred. Nice. Let's get rid of these, and even the Hired Gun. We know we have some units, so it's not like we don't have any blockers. All right, perfect. Although I think we'll wait till next turn to play this. We don't want them to get frostbitten. So let's maybe just shuffle that into the deck. All right, we're fine with killing their units. Alright, we'll actually just attack. We're fine if this unit dies. It's really important to kill Ash, if at all possible. Alright, that's fine. Especially since we can just play another one for free. <laughs> uh. Now, against Ash, it can be bad to put all your stats on one unit. Because then that Frostbite is so much worse. Uh, so I think we'll actually spread them out here. These old eyes still see far. I think get bloody, get getting two hired guns, not too bad. Your 
strength is lacking. I don't think we'll bother playing anything else. Fresh tracks. Can't afford to miss. All right, a bunch of elusive sounds pretty good. Joy to you, brother. True joy. Being here, dancing in all the beauty of life. All right, let's see what else we can draw for our fleeting cards. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and level up. So one issue is I kind of have too many fleeting cards where most of these aren't going to get shuffled back and we don't want to run out. Uh, but first, let's, see how you handle this. let's just attack and try to do as much damage as we can. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's use our pick a card. Try to put some things back in the deck. Guess we can play Pool Shark here. A game. Go on, then. So we're back down to two fleeting cards, so both of these will get put back in our deck. One thing you want to try to shoot for when you're playing Neela. Don't really want to play any of our units necessarily. I guess we can use this. It will go off twice because he has four health. But this is normally how your board looks with Mila. Full board, full hand. Alright, another one that we can kill. This really is a solid removal spell once once he gets that upgrade. Alright, a little bit too many, but not much we can do about it. Good hunt. Want to remember us, I... Getting a little low on cards. But we should be able to end this round, so not much of an issue. Alright, GG. All right, I think we'll get the Windborn Mariner here since we can normally play this for free. All right, so everything on the Pool Shark is pretty strong because it's doubled. Getting more copies of these though is good. I think we'll actually go for pick a card since we don't have a solid way to get fleeting cards yet. Our hand is normally too full already, so let's use a reroll here. Sure, this is fine. Always having a fleeting card that we can play, or just not play so we can get more fleeting cards next round. Not too bad. Here, I don't think we'll bother with anything. Alright, so Zoe with unstable inventory. Alright, we're going to reroll pretty aggressively. Again, we want both our Neela and our Kindred. All right, little sad, not exactly what we want. But let's go ahead and get rid of Zoe. And let's try to get rid of her again. Well, that's satisfying. Perfect, we got our Kindred. Just being able to play a 4-5 and a 6-5 turn 1 is pretty crazy. And water. 
Alright, so they'll probably potentially block our armed gearhead, but we're fine with that. Because that is a lot of damage. Sure. Always nice to clear out the enemy board. Alright, elusive, let's just play that so we don't uh, don't get blocked, although they might silence him. Oh, end the round. Alright. Alright, so we'll play the lookout, especially since we have three slots open. This just gives you a massive swing of power. So many big cards. Let's just get our scout attack off first. Ah, GG. Alright, let's get Farsight. That'll be very nice. Spellburn is pretty good. Although we haven't been playing that many spells yet. Although we do also have the Bouncing Blade, so potentially we could just always target the Nexus and do like 4 damage every round. So, not too bad. Ooh, Epic Champion, we probably want that. Yeah, so Caitlyn with Unyielding Determination. Alright, let's re-roll pretty much all of these. Yeah, I think let's play this right away. Fresh start. Just looking for a sign. I think let's just get. Well, wait. This will give us a tune, so yeah, we'll have enough mana. Joy to you, brother. True joy. Being here, dancing in all the beauty of life. Right, let's just get rid of Caitlyn right away. Zero cost removal spell. So good. So this will go off twice. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's see what we get. Perfect. Quick attack. And then this dealing a lot of damage there. So next round we'll be able to just end the game. We'll just use our blade on the Nexus, and that should be GG. Well, no, they have a yielding. Never mind. Always forget about that. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, nice kindred. And this is fleeting, so yep, double kindred. Yeah, let's see what we get here. Alright, we'll sacrifice one kindred, I guess. Don't want to take 10 nexus damage. I think we'll hold off. We already have two fleeting cards that we're going to draw next round. Actually, three. I aim to win, and my aim is excellent. Well, that could be better. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, let's play this. We can just drag her out of the way. Suspicious activity detected just outside the station. And this should be a good amount of damage. So getting that attack off won't really help. We can drag this over here, this over here. And that should be enough damage to end the game. 
Yep. Just enough. Although we could use this to do a little bit more. Alright, GG. Oh, that's why that pool shark is so strong. Just being able to get rid of units. So yeah, the Titanify... Most people are saying it can't get on anything that's not below, like, an 8 cost. That's, yeah, annoying. I don't think we're really having enough things die. I don't really... Both of these are fine, but I don't... This is going to be too many cards. Yeah, let's try this out. I don't think it's necessarily optimal, but I think it should be pretty fun. Alright, when you play a spell, that'll be... Very nice, since we're trying to play spells a little bit more. It wouldn't be bad to get some items on Kindred. Uh, just so that we can get a couple more copies and have a higher chance of drawing them. But this is just too good to pass up. Alright, so Poppy with level up. Alright, we'll reroll... Again, pretty much everything. We know we're going to draw her, so it's fine to reroll. Perfect, got our Kindred. And we have the attack tokens, so we can try to push a lot of damage early. I slay horror and I smile. Never won. Alright, scout attack. And water. Um, yeah, we'll just... They'll be able to block and kill someone, but... Or they'll just try to block this damage. Yeah. That's how they normally go, which is quite nice, because... Just lets you push more damage. Huh, we actually can't play this. Or, well, not play for free at least. Uh, I think. Yeah, let's go here. We're gonna get the attune. And then just Blades Edge the Nexus since it deals like 4 damage. We don't actually need to attack next round. Alright, not too bad. Alright, so this is down to seven. So yeah, we're probably not really ever going to use this unless we get some different powers. But, uh, GG. Uh, getting better title invocation. Pretty good. This is the second time we've seen Sleight of Hand. Yep, this will be good. Let's see what we get for the shop here. Allies over there. That's not bad. Would give us a little bit more damage. Because, yeah, most of our... Pretty much everything we play, almost, is going to cost three or less. So, sure. Man deposit, that's actually pretty nice. A lot of decent cards here, actually. Let's see. I think we'll probably actually go for the Spells Chest, even though Emperor's Guard can be pretty solid. I think let's get this Arachnoid Horror. That mana deposit is just really good. Other solid options, but I think we'll just stick with what we have. Alright, so Draven with Unstable Inventory. Alright, again, let's... Reroll pretty aggressively. Right, none of our champions, not the best. The sun's out, the crowd's ready. Let's rack it! Hmm. I slay horror and I smile. Yeah, let's sacrifice this. We don't want our champion to get too low. Alright, not too bad. For the hand. Hmm. I think I'm actually just going to try to push damage. Killing Draven can kind of be annoying since he just comes back every round. 
But plain spells here is going to buff us up. So we can't let him stay on the board. So we'll try to kill him, but just push a lot of damage towards their Nexus as well. Right, quick attack. And we were able to get Overwhelm. Nice. So, able to deal a good amount of damage here. That Lurk. Very good. Nice. So, if we need to, just two rounds of uh, Blade's Edge, we win. Uh, let's play this first, just for a blocker. Well, more the merrier. Time for the money makers. Alright, they're out of mana at least. Something the matter. Your strength is lacking. We're fine with our units dying. Really doesn't matter. I feel like we can play our Scuttlegeist. So we'll just use our Blade's Edge again, and that'll be GG. If we got Elemental Wings, so this had two extra damage on it, oh, that'd be massive. Yep, GG. This could be pretty crazy, Spirit Stone, because normally you're playing it for free anyways, so you just play an army of these. Solid. Uh, I think we'll go for this, just because playing more spells will give our uh, Neela more stats, so should be good. Alright, let's cut that. Yep, Soul Squirrel, never really playing that. Alright, Yasuo with Unyielding Determination. All right, we don't need two Windborn Mariners. Yeah, let's get rid of most of these. Sad, no kindred. Joy, unbound and everlasting. Plug and play. Evolve me. Get her. Get him. Here, here. Sound All right, very nice. Death is like the wind, always by my side. So she's gonna get stunned if he attacks. This will deal four, this will just deal two, so yeah, we don't have enough to actually kill him. Which is sad. We haven't actually drawn enough to play this for free, sadly. I think we'll just play this here. Because he's when they attack, he's going to stun. But I think if we do... Well, she'll go up by two, but that won't actually be enough. So yeah, we could block, but well, we just die. We're so close, though. Think, well, actually, let's wait so that they can get rid of their mana. We don't want to kill Yasuo, so they immediately play another one. Fresh start. Just looking for a sign. Quick footwork. Fast strikes. So that'll deal to pair that up with this, so we can kill him, get him off the board. And 
All right, we'll attack like this, getting that elusive. So this will pop the Nexus. That means they're all going to go up in health. Hmm. So we'll attack like this, so hopefully we can damage and kill some of these. Um, but we yeah, won't be able to do too much damage to their Nexus. Alright, let's play a couple more of these, since we have them. Hey, which way to spiritual fulfillment? Solid. I guess we could have just played that over and over and over again to get her augment up enough. But that still wouldn't be able to one-shot the Nexus. Since it had that second health bar. This should be a ton of damage. Alright, not quite enough to kill him. Sad. Still not really anything. I'm trying to get something to kill one of these two. Behold the power of the seventh seal. Okay, that'll work. So we'll block here to get rid of this card. We'll just sacrifice a lot of these. Another great thing you can do with the Formless Blade is just get people low enough so that they'll die from an attacker block. Alright, so go like this to capture their Yasuo. Perfect. So attacking would be nice, but there's a high chance that we're just going to get stunned on the attack. Hmm, well. Anyone have spell shield? No. Alright, we'll just attack and essentially play go fish. See if they have the, the spell to stop us. And they do, sad, because we don't have spell shield. Ah, oh, well. That's always a pain with Yasuo. Underestimate. I dare you. The power of our order. A game. Go on then. Right, let's get rid of this unit. All right, not too bad. Let's just try to nuke down their Nexus with spells. And like eh, figures. An blow. I think we probably should be fine. Alright, let's just kill him out of spite. Alright, GG. Double focusing crystal. That's gonna be a lot of stats. Your spells cost one less. Very good. Member game, also very solid, but we have so many one-cost spells. This is going to be amazing. 
Yeah, let's go for this epic shop. So Azir with level up. Ah, perfect. I was hoping. I was like, hopefully we get Kindred this game. Yeah, normally you'd probably want to spread out your level ups or your items between your two champions. Just that focusing crystal is just too strong to pass up. Uh, that's annoying, but there's not really anything we can do about it. <laughs> My word. Oh, that's so much. I think let's go like this, just to try to get him off the board. Yeah. No way. Two worlds, one balance. Where do you stand? Well, this will be GG then. Yep. So getting more spells will deal extra damage to the Nexus, but Hired Gun is pretty solid, and if we could get this out early, getting that extra mana would be nice, but it's, again, it is also not really normally needed. I think we'll actually double down on our spells. This is probably the smarter choice, but I'm gonna go with this. That's really good. That's 240. We target an ally with a single target spell. I don't think we really use single target spells on our own units at all. So let's do a reroll. Allied buffs are permanent. Don't think we really have many allied buffs at all. Like, I guess the cost reduction of the Windborn Mariner, maybe, but that's really niche. So, yeah, let's do another reroll here. Oh, my word. Oh, Spellburn. Okay, we finally got a good one. All right, let's buy one of these. I think let's buy actually two of those. Hmm. So that could be interesting. All of your spells and skills deal one extra damage, and it does have mana deposit. It's a very cool card. Hey look, there's the headmistress. We already saw that like just got released. Interesting. So I'll be more of a meme, but I think I'll just get, yeah, one copy. Just in case the game goes a little long, we can play this once, refill our mana, and then just keep going with more damage. Alright, Misfortune with Duplicate. Wow. Uh, let's go like this. We'll need blockers for Misfortune. I guess those will work. All right. All right, let's just try to boost up our champion. We'll actually be fine here. Because with that vulnerable, we can get our scout attack off. So we could attack. I think we'll actually attack like this. Well, if we do misfortune, then block. Ah. 
I guess we'll just go like this. There's potentially a thought to save Kindred so that whenever we attack and we kill someone that's not Kindred, she's going to mark someone that will also die. But normally if someone's marked, they'll immediately, or they'll always be blocking even when they normally wouldn't. That's generally the way it works for the AI. I think we'll just, yeah, con consolidate all the stats. Play our pick rush. Joy to you, brother. True joy. Being here, dancing in all the beauty and let's just keep pushing as much damage as possible. That double spell burn is pretty strong. Get bloody, get paid. A lot of units, but they are just about out of cards. Remake. Uh, don't stand in my way. Oh, so close. Son of a run away. All right, GG. Uh, Grifter's deck is somewhat pointless, but just more copyless in general isn't bad, so sure, I guess. Alright, Jinx with level up. We've gotten a lot of level up this time. Alright, we got our Kindred, and we know we're going to draw our uh, Nyla because of that Farsight Alteration. Is it Alteration? I think I always think it's Alteration, but it's something else. Oh no, it is Alteration. Uh, let's play this first since it's the uh, mana gem or mana deposit. So much stats and so much damage. Alright, let's just play this again. Come on, go ahead and play your Jinx. Oh, you... Oh. Alright, I guess. So sad that we don't have anything to actually deal real damage, because we're just going to get blocked out. Alright, let's just attack like this. Huh. Oh, I guess the brash, right. Perfect. That's actually pretty funny. We'll go here. There's a lot of stats. This will be very, very solid. Alright, Aurelian Soul with Perfected Mana Flow. I think we have a pretty good shot, but Mana Flow is, like, debatably the toughest, worst thing for him to get. Alright, let's get rid of most of these. Well, half of them. We do not have the attack token. Hmm. I think we'll still play our Nyla. Or Nila. Yeah, that should be good. One issue is we're not drawing extra fleeting cards because we're using them every single round. 
for one. Without the other. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Well, that figures. We could do something a little cheesy, though. And then he'll get marked. And he'll die. Unless they kill Kindred. Oh, a stun. Okay, that's fine. We don't have our Neela, though, so that's really bad. I think we'll just save the resources we have. There's no really point attacking a dam. Glad we were able to get rid of them, though. That tree mirror, though, is going to be a problem. And they already have Aurelian Soul. Perfect. Uh, let's put that in there. Let's actually wait on this. Let's see what other fleeting cards we get. Um, I don't want this to actually go off twice. See how low we can get him. So potentially we could kill him with one of our armed gearheads, maybe. Well, this is actually fast. We don't necessarily need to play it right away. Hmm. Uh, I think we will actually play this, though. Because we want this doubled, not the Windborn Mariner doubled. Perfect. So this could deal a lot of damage, but, yep, yeah, it'll get marked, so it's not actually needed. We just, we'll use this one to tank the damage. Ah, figures. Well, that's annoying. Well, almost could have been amazing. Press start. Just looking for a second. Well, we can fill out our board at least. I've been around. Let's go again. Press start. Just looking for a second. Let's play this here, get a little sustain. And get Mark going. Alright, so I don't want to give them time to play anything because they have a lot of very powerful spells. I'm just going to try to attack and see how much damage we can do, potentially end the game. So let's let's just see. Don't mind if I do. That's actually funny. Alright, so we could play this here. And we can play this here. And, uh, GG. Alright, so that was some Neela max level gameplay. First time running this build was a lot of fun. And it'd be a build that would really be different every time based on what champion you get. A lot of different ways to play her. Pretty fun champion, although very similar to Janna. She can be rough at the early levels. Didn't really have that much 
fun planer until I got her to three stars and past level 20 to be honest. But once you get it maxed out, she is actually quite enjoyable. A lot of fun. Also, a couple shout outs. One, my awesome members. Two, the game is still broken. At least at the time of recording this, there is still no uh, event quest for me and many others. Really, really annoying. And then last up, I will be doing a tier list now. People keep asking for it. I was just waiting till I got all the guides done and their gameplay videos. So now that those are all done, a tier list will be coming out in the next few days, probably early to mid next week. All right, if you like the video, definitely like and subscribe, and I hope you all have a great day.